Hello and welcome to my soon to be Prius camper. So I actually did get a new camping rig that is not this one. I'll actually show you because I can't keep a secret. It's the Jeep Cherokee. The way that this kind of came about is not really in the happiest of ways. So I, ha I spoke about this on my Instagram but I haven't mentioned it on my channel. Our other dog passed away in my grieving of him. I have been leaning a lot on Debu here and just getting out of the house. Honestly, losing a pet is so hard because I can just see him everywhere in our house. So I've been heavily leaning on Debu and we've been getting out of the house a lot, going on a lot of trails and it just made me realize, you know, I kind of miss that road life a little bit. So this channel will continue being life on the road. I did make another channel for my homesteading cottage content. In the meantime, while my new rig gets sorted out. It needs a lot of work done. We will be camping in the Prius. Isn't that right, Debu? I'm going to be doing a no build build for the Prius. <laughs> so basically, I want to be able to change this back to a normal car at a whim's notice. Yeah, let's just get into it. I've made a little list of everything that I feel like I need. It's just now about squishing it all in here. So we are starting off strong with my kitchen. In here I have just like a bunch of cooking supplies pretty much. This is my little camping stove and propane and then you attach this to it. And then in here is my pantry. I'm gonna see if I can squish it in here. I put the lid kind of like not on all the way to make it really easy for me to open it but also keep it kind of debu proof so that he can't go in there and then now for where the luxury comes into play with everything i have this power station as well as a mini fridge so as you can see it's just like a very tiny fridge the one downside to that fridge is it does have continuous power meaning it doesn't ever turn off but since this is just for short trips it's gonna be fine it'll go mini fridge right next to it and up there as well, I'm also going to be putting my toiletries bag. I'm just going to pop this up here. This is actually doing really good so far. It's nice that I have so much space here because I'm so tiny that like the seats are all the way up. So this is going to be where I store my clothing in this bag. And then laundry is going to be going in this bag. But first of all, look how cute this is. It's a little tractor supply bag and it has a chicken on it. Oh my gosh, wait, I just had the thought I can hang my laundry bag and my clothes bag off the back of the seats. Like it kind of makes it a little bit more accessible for me when I am in the back. Next up is window coverings and I had these from when I was in my yellow van. Is anybody worried about my van? It is here, I still have it. Well, I gave it to my boyfriend because it's just not very reliable going on long distance trips, especially for me, somebody who doesn't want to be fixing it all the time. But he's a mechanic, he does body work on cars, so he can fix it all the time. So let's see how they fit in here. You can definitely tell somebody's in there, but that's okay. Also have these really cute fairy lights. I just strung up the fairy lights using these nails that I just had around the house. Yes, it's gonna leave a mark, but it'll be so tiny, you won't really be able to notice. I just kind of looped the wire around the head of the nail and shoved it in there. I also got AA batteries, so let me turn it on for you in there and show you the cozy vibes. I can't even see it, can you? <laughs> but I swear it's so cute and cozy. Next, I've got a trash can, very important. <laughs> that I'm just going to pop right here. It just started raining out of nowhere, but I do have this window cover. I'm gonna try to see if it fits really quickly. The rain is really light, so I'm thinking it's about to just go away. I still need to set up the bed, most important part. Why are you looking like that? Oh yeah, that fits. Oh my goodness, you're too cute. Yes, you are, you're too cute. For this type of custom front windshield covers, you can get them on Amazon. I got the same ones for my Ford Transit van. It's great. Ford Transit, Prius, 
I'm pretty sure they have it for every single type of car. So just type in your car and put windshield cover. For me personally, I typically look for the black ones because it kind of looks like nobody's in here when it's up. Like it's just, it just looks tinted. I got this mattress topper. It is a gel foam combo, I want to say. Let's get our bed set up, the exciting part. We have my favorite pattern in the entire world, the blue ging 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 him ging him ging. I don't know what that word is. Okay, I found out it is gingham. This is blue plaid by Shabby Chic is the brand that I got this from. My mom actually got it for me. So yes. Next up is my comforter. Yes, it's white. Not my best decision, especially now that I'm sleeping with a dog and not a cat. But you know what? This comforter, this duvet cover, has been with me through the house I lived with my parents and through the van. So it's got life in it. It's got holes in it and it's going to continue living until it's literally dead. Let's tuck the underneath below the mattress so that it doesn't come up in the night. Now, all you need is pillows. And another thing I thought I would just mention really quickly with the mattress is on the top where it was too long, I just folded it over and now it fits. <laughs> Luckily it's a very thin mattress topper so it can easily bend and fold. also sleeping in the same bed as me so that'll be interesting i hope you enjoyed this little car camper build video things we've peed in in our car i don't think i've ever actually talked about because <laughs> like my favorite area of the united states is yeah, i'm officially gonna get over my fear of filming in front of people no you're not no you've become a bit of a cold yeah <laughs>